Peter McGrath, Triple Two Racing. Uh, just a couple of little things on info on what we're running this year. This is the basic engine, it's 500 cubic inches. Um, you'll notice it's have, it has a carburetor and an MSD, uh, which is multi-spark discharge system. Very simple sort of an engine. Um, we're not limited on horsepower. Uh, the cylinder head on these engines will probably limit us to about 790 horsepower, roughly around that. So everybody's very similar. Um, as you can see, they run a, a CMI stainless water-cooled exhaust. Um, the reason for that is the rules say that the exhaust temperature can't exceed the engine temperature. So quite an expensive part of the, of, of the engine. Um, but general maintenance on the engine, um, obviously it's built out of the best sort of equipment we can buy. Um, crankshaft, rods, pistons, we don't have that much trouble with that as long as you run a good castrol oil in there, it's, it seems to look after everything. But the main things that will let you down, um, when we leave the wharf we have to start the engines in gear. So starter motors are very crucial, if it doesn't work you don't go racing. Alternators, we run um, the alternators as slow as we can obviously, but um, we do consume a lot of power with our trim systems and stuff like that. So. After a race, I always make sure that it's charging correctly and we will make sure that there's no salt water got into it. Water pumps. We have a water pump down here that supplies seawater through the engine. Um, in a flat calm race, the boat stays in the water and we're just running fast. In a very rough race, 90% uh, of the time we're out of the water, so the impellent's running dry and stuff like that. So particular care in the water pumps to make sure we haven't got a broken impeller or something like that, otherwise we ain't going racing. Um, as you can see it runs a dry sump system. Uh, it, is a, it is all billet, billet system. Um, belt tension is set so we can't over tension it. But as you can see it's all quite simple. Um, this particular engine we're not running a thermostat. Um, we just uh, slow the water flow down to get the temperature that we want because uh, over the years I've found thermostats with salt water and in and out of the water and can also be another problem but that's just a, a rough outlay on, on what we do and what can make them go.